So you're saying that's put on? Well, I mean, maybe she was upset, you know, but... Uh, <laughs> Does that kind of thing make it harder then to share a house with people? Like if you've seen what you think no, is No, because I mean, actually, I, I get on with everybody in the house. And I mean, I thought I got on with her until I seen that episode. <laughs> so uh, there you go. And is that stressful? Is that experience of being in the house stressful at all? No, I mean, if, if, no, not at all. I mean, living in the house is great. I mean, you go home every day and you cook dinner for everybody and you just have a bit of crack and, and it's fine, you know. And then be like, Michelle, this doesn't taste nice at all. How can you do that? Oh, that sort of nonsense. I mean, Bill did say, and Bill has given out to her on many, many episodes about the fact that she hasn't stood up to the mark, that she hasn't yeah. come forward, that she's hung back, that she's been on the sideline, that she's watched everybody else kind of, yeah. you know, um, go into the guillotine, and that she's let them go to the guillotine. Yeah. Now, there is, uh, he has, there's something, something in that. I mean, it, it is fabricated, because she said stuff there, uh, I, I only said, be, you know, you're in the competition because you were on the winning team. We talk about it as a competition, and to an extent we look yeah. at you and everybody else in it as sort of characters in a big game, one of whom is getting a great job. One of the wagon. Yeah, well, whatever it might be. But there's a, a clip that we have that shows both the, the pressure that, in some cases, that the experience puts under, but also the pressure that some of the people are under generally. And I think it puts some of what we're talking about into perspective. Have a look at this. It's, it's very tough, you know living up in Dublin and not seeing your family on that regular basis at such a young age, you know. Um, the way it is in here is that, like, um, everything's been second-guessed and everything's been watched and that's just, a lot of the time, that's just not me. And just am where I am, and that's it. It's kind of like, like it or lump it. And then people say, I don't know, but yeah, you know, I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> I think you're going to have to wrap it because I'm just a wreck. <sighs> um, if I don't get this job, um, I'll possibly miss the the best opportunity that could ever. my way to learn more and and it just pains me that if <sighs> that this could finish because of a stupid mistake I made. You know my kids are nine and seven and they're used to having things. I mean you can't get them anymore, it's just difficult so. Nothing worse than, you know, being poor. Working hard and being poor, you know? Sorry. That's... Oh, oh. come here! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Love you, Dougal! <laughs> <laughs> I think this may be the biggest piece of emotional blackmail that has ever been done to the audience. <laughs> let's see you hold up fired now. Let's get your view on whether or not Barry should still be in there fighting or whether Bill was right. If you think he was right, you're fired. If you think he was wrong, you're hired. Hold up the cards, yeah. folks. Oh, it's Ooh, still a you're fired. But it is tough, like, it's not, like, especially with a show like this, when you're fired, you're fired. It's not like the X Factor when even if you're a loser, you know you're going to do a tour in the summer. Yeah. <laughs> I, should do that. I should do that with, it, like, the O2. They should have all the apprentices do a tour. Actually, yeah. And they go, they're going to do a task. And I was like, yeah, do a task. <laughs> See? I don't care now, right? I think if you wanted a guy to open a shop, that's the man there. Book him. Cheers. <laughs> Anybody under 23, 24, yeah. that, that's been a different environment. And people who are maybe late 20s, 30s, they've seen it tougher before. Guys, yeah. That's let, harsh reality. Let's put ourselves back in good mood, and we'll do that by get, having a look back through Barry's highlights. <laughs> Here we go. Make a round. So, Barry. Yeah. I've heard quite a lot about you now that you think you're the greatest thing since fried bread. <laughs> We're not going to lose this task. I'll be the project manager. 
done. Can I just say one thing? Noodles are the devil. Barry's doing a great job. He seems to know what he's talking about. I'll sell the shit out of it tomorrow. Could I borrow a euro from you? If you're in the doghouse, you know yourself. You pull the string and it's done. Would you understand if people described you as a control freak? Yeah, I think that'd be a bit harsh. Listen, stop be show out now with me, man. I'm pretty tolerant of most people. I'm not to tell you four times. Everything in the country under EU legislation has calories on it. I'd go into battle with panels, but I'd want a big gun. He said that I had issues. Maybe I am difficult to work. Maybe I am. <laughs> just, just, there. just got stuck in your wall, though. <laughs> I think they'll see me as somebody to worry about. And I am. <laughs> I got covers for the tables. I'm just thinking SpongeBob spare pants. That's what it's in my head like. Just sorry, Santi, just push your glasses onto your eyes. Just... Yes, we're going on honeymoon. Yes. Vegas. Are you? I'm hungry for work all the time. I just love it. But she gets up and literally puts it into his ball sack. <laughs> I was 16 stone. Were you? I was. Oh, for fuck's sake. Sorry. <laughs> they do a lot of crosswords. You know, you're always finding new words and you're always kind of practicing spelling. She's a bit forceful now, you know, a bit dictatorship y. You remember that, Tabasco? The self heat meals mm -hmm. are giving me a semi. Barry maybe was was not being 100% truthful in some of his replies. For some paranoid I've missed something. Why on earth did you allow Barry to do the presentation? My apologies. <laughs> Can you give me porridge? I do give you porridge. that since I was that height. And look at you, Bill, you're a, fanta you're a fantastic age, you know. <laughs> lick, lick. Oh, no, I thought it's not like... And cut. Nobody leaves empty handed. <laughs> we had to get you something and we wanted to get you something that you it's could use. a job under there. Well, <laughs> there's, there's the, the starting point of a job because if you do decide to follow the career and become the new Martin Scorsese, hey. we have you your very own clapper for. <laughs> <Please, sir. laughs> there you go, Good man. Well, actually, Anton, I have something for you. Excuse me while I whip this and, out. Oh, yes. <laughs> and to, you've been showboating all right. the last 11 weeks, so there you what go. What does it say? <laughs> oh, <laughs> it is a don't be showboating. Barry Caesar <laughs> Hunt T-shirt. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Barry Caesar Hunt. Barry, thank you. <laughs> and thanks as well to my panel, Jim Barry, Mary Louise O'Donnell, and the comedian Damien Clark. Well, we are down to only four remaining. And the next thing we are going to see is the final after they get through these. Give me three adjectives that describe you. Ambitious, hardworking. Motivational. Do you mean motivated? Mm. It's a hard one. It's OK. You can take, take a breath, take a drink of water. And you think you're a €100,000 candidate. You're fired. Well, if you want to join us for some showboating next week, uh, we're on after the main event here on TV3. Until then, bye-bye.